I did my systematic survey on group cycling. Um, group cycling is a high intensity workout class that takes place on stationary bikes. During the workout class, there is generally loud music playing just in order to elevate the workout. And instructors normally lead group cycling classes. Um, however, individuals who participate in group cycling do have the opportunity to alter the workout to fit their own desires. And the reason that group cycling is considered a self-care wellness practice is because it reaps multiple physical health benefits as well as multiple mental health benefits. Um, so in scientific literature, I found a systematic review that kind of stated some of the physical health benefits of group cycling. So they concluded that group cycling can reduce the risk of early death, heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and hypertension. I also found a study that kind of demonstrated some of the mental health benefits of group cycling. And that study concluded that an individual's well-being increases and psychological distress decreases during a group cycling class. And then the final scientific literature article that I found was a randomized control trial relating individuals who struggle with knee and joint pain with group cycling. So um, that study just kind of concluded that group cycling is an effective exercise option for individuals with knee osteoarthritis. Just because group cycling is such a low impact exercise, it really does benefit everyone, but especially individuals who struggle with knee and joint pain. In popular literature, I found several articles that kind of just describe what group cycling is as well as some of the benefits of group cycling. Um, so the first article that I found stated that um, group cycling is great for individuals of all expertise, um, even beginners. So that kind of means that it's really easy to get started with group cycling even if you have no prior experience. They also stated that indoor cycling can lower blood pressure and benefit individuals at risk for heart disease. Um, so that kind of just sums up some of the physical health benefits of group cycling. Um, and then the second article that I found um, just stated that cycling causes an individual's body to release endorphins. Um, so endorphins are a hormone that the body releases during exercise. Um, and endorphins really just reduce stress in individuals. Um, so group cycling does lower stress levels in individuals. And then the final popular literature article that I found stated that group cycling instructors play a pivotal role in motivating the class to stay positive, which correlates to individuals um, lowering stress levels during the group cycling exercise. Um, it also stated that group cycling allows individuals to burn calories as well as build muscle tone. Um, so, in Comparing what I found in scientific literature versus what I found in popular literature, um, there are important things to just keep in mind. Um, so while scientific literature and popular literature can be about the same topic, um, the way in which the ideas are presented are quite different. So popular literature is normally just written by one journalist and reviewed by one publisher. Um, the purpose of these articles are normally just to inform and sometimes for entertainment. And then scientific articles are normally written by um, professionals in the field, and they are also posted in peer-reviewed journals, and they are reviewed by multiple ex experts in the field before um, going to print. Um, and then their per sole purpose is basically just to display research in a certain field of study. Um, therefore, scientific literature is a little more reliable than popular literature just in terms of research. Um, so what I found in scientific literature was um, just some of the physical health benefits of group cycling such as lowering risk of heart disease as well as lowering blood pressure. And then some of the things that I found in popular literature were um, just how the exercise can be an effective stress reducer um, just by the body releasing endorphins. Um, so what while both scientific literature and popular literature discuss the benefits of group cycling, the claims made in scientific literature are backed up by scientific trials and data, so they are just a little more reliable. Um, so in conclusion, group cycling is a self-care wellness practice that millions of people participate in worldwide. 
Um, like I said in this entire presentation, there are so many mental health benefits as well as physical health benefits. Um, so overall, group cycling is a very effective self-care and wellness practice.